Hello and welcome back or welcome if you're new. If you're new here, my name is Elena. I am the homeschooling mama to three kiddos. I'm trying to strategically sit so you don't see this clutter here. It's not working. I'm the homeschooling mama to three kiddos and here on the channel we talk about everything from homemaking, homeschooling, all the things in between including clutter that's kind of what I'm going to get into a new sort of series for the month of April. I really need to get back on track. I'm not really sure what that means. I don't know if I've ever had a period where um, I was felt like I was completely on track with things and just right on top of everything, but we're going to attempt to get better, not perfect. So <laughs> let me explain. A few weeks ago, I was down for the count for a few days and just really struggling. And I don't know about you, but when you are like physically not well, all of a sudden you have all these things that you remembered you wanted to do and you needed to get done. And I just started creating lists. And um, in those lists was things that I needed to declutter and clean and make better rhythms and routines for in our lives. So, so far, January, I was very inconsistent with things. I usually come on here and make monthly goals. Um, at the beginning of the year, I do kind of an overall yearly goal. And then I recap and set our new goals up for the month. So this month, we're going to do something a little different in starting this series. In January, I was just very inconsistent in my things and I just couldn't seem to get um, consistent with what I wanted to do. I couldn't get into a rhythm of things. February was mentally very, very difficult. There were some things that we were um, going through and dealing with and it was just, turned out to be a really tough month. And then I also started having some physical problems um, with eating and I just, I wasn't able to eat and that was affecting me both physically and mentally. It was getting harder. So February <laughs> just was tough all the way around. But March came around and um, we ended up getting sick and just kind of going through going through that, you know, just kind of travels through the house and then you think you're getting better and something else comes along. So getting into April, hopefully the weather starts getting better. I think that will help immensely because I am so done with winter cold. I appreciate where we are now has seasons, but oh, I am ready for some sunshine and warmer weather. So I'm hoping that we can start with some baby steps and get things into more rhythms and routines. And we are gonna do baby steps because if I tried to reset everything all at once, it would drive me crazy and I would have this all or nothing um, kind of mentality and most likely I would end up doing nothing. So we're gonna break down our spring cleaning and started fresh for spring and take it into bite-sized chunks. This video is just to kind of let you know what I anticipate we're gonna do, what I hope um, we're gonna get to in this upcoming month. So this month we are tackling our goals, but we're doing it in more of a cleaning reset type of way. And the things that we're gonna be tackling or I hope to be tackling are homeschool areas, rhythms, just regular rhythms and routines, our health um, and fitness, not just mine, but my kiddos too. I also want to start a unit study with them. And then basically all of our little chaotic areas here. So these little corners that have gotten out of control. Um, I kind of already started and did and have been doing these, what I'm calling like bite size cleaning projects. Um, so the other day I cleaned off my desk area, but I didn't tackle the entire bedroom. I just did one corner and got that done. And then um, a few weeks back, we tackled the master bedroom and kind of just tidied up an area in there. And so I think that these bite-sized chunks are going to work better for me. And it gives me still a feeling of accomplishment when it's done, which is just a great boost to keep going. I'm going to be completely honest and tell you that not all, I don't, I'm not always going to want to do these projects. In fact, when I was doing my cleaning video, I mentioned that I was just not in the mood to do it at all, but I really needed that clean desk feeling. So it is going to be very real life. Um, and there's, I anticipate some bumps in the road here, but I'm going to bring you along anyways, and hopefully you can relate. Um, or if you can't relate, at least it'll be of some entertainment for you. 
what can you look forward to? Or what am I hoping is going to come from these videos? I'm thinking that I need to get into a new AM routine or rhythm. I need to get back to meal prepping. I'm not sure what all of this will look like for me. Um, in terms of if we're gonna go back to meal prepping lunches and breakfast or freezer meals or maybe a little bit of both. I also, I'm looking at my workouts and my health and fitness in that area. Um, I know that I have mentioned our main workout gear is down in the basement, but in our current home, the basement is extremely cold and has been triggering my asthma pretty badly. So I'm hoping that the weather gets warmer soon, but if it doesn't, if every day isn't as warm as I would like it to be so that I can go down there and work out, I really need to come up with some alternatives that I will actually do. So coming up with some alternatives, what does that look like and how will I fit this into my day? Also our finances, uh, yeah. <laughs> I really would like for us to start saving some money, but right now I'm going to be completely honest and put it all out on the table and tell you that I've not been doing the best job budgeting. We kind of touched on a couple of different things. Our grocery budget is our biggest budget, our biggest variable, um, and it just is tough to get a handle on. And it feels like every time we get kind of a handle on things, something happens. So we made a new system. I will link that for you somewhere of our grocery budget and how we are tackling it in a new kind of way, new to us kind of way. I usually monthly meal plan and then monthly grocery shop. But lately, not only have the prices of things been like sky high, but as I'm sure you know, but also I feel like my kiddos, because they're becoming more active or I don't know if it's just spring or we're going through growth spurts or all of the above, but it feels like the family has been eating much, much more. And so we're going through groceries even faster than before. So I need to come back and touch on that and tackle it. And I need to figure out a way where I am going to be looking at our budget more often than I have been. And then finally, this will probably sound a little counterintuitive maybe is the word or counterproductive, um, but rest. So in between all the hustle and bustle and trying to reset, I really need to find pockets of rest for not just myself, but my family as well. I particularly really thrive in a slower paced living type situation. Um, but sometimes when you have growing kids, that's not always the situation or season of life that you're in. So for us, we have added a couple more classes and a couple more things outside activities into our daily routines and then of course, as the weather gets better, you find yourself wanting to be out and about more. And there are other projects that we are kind of branching out and doing. We are starting again, planting seeds and trying to see what we can grow. Um, last season I did, I kind of did a couple of videos of our garden. We were incredibly blessed where we were to have garden boxes available to us. And unfortunately we had to leave what we planted um, there. And here I don't have the room like that to have garden boxes. Um, so it's going to be a very portable kind of container garden and see what, what we can do. Let me know if you want us to take you along what we're doing and how that's going. But those things like that are going to keep us a little bit busier. And I just want to figure out how to not miss the pockets of rest that are available to me. I've also been leaning into more of Sabbath type rest where um, we are taking a, a full day to just enjoy the Sabbath and what a gift that is and what that means for us. For some people, they have more strict rules that they're following and for others, it could just mean rest. And so we're still kind of figuring out what what it's going to mean for our family and what we're going to take on or not take on for for our sabbath and if you want to know more about that let me know and i'll see if we can create a short video where i just kind of explain what the sabbath is to us or what we're hoping it will be what it's going to look like for our family and i think that's it i think i've actually touched on all of our goals i usually do it in um 
separate categories. So homeschooling, I just, we want to clean up our space there. Um, we are going to touch on that. I don't think we're going to touch too much on our rhythms and routines of our homeschooling. Health and fitness, I already talked about how we're going to, what my, um, need to come up with a backup plan. Finances, we're always looking at that, always trying to figure out another way to actually stick to the budget and keep an eye on the budget. And then, um, we're just gonna do an overall spring cleaning in baby steps. So I hope you'll stick around and come alongside me as I get ready to declutter a few things, reorganize some other things, and just try to make it a little better, not perfect. So <laughs> thanks so much for hanging out with me. If you don't know, or if you just need to be reminded, maybe the one to tell you you are deeply and truly loved and so, so appreciated. Honestly, I really, truly appreciate you taking your time out and spending it here with me. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. Let me know in the comments if you are going to come alongside and do some spring cleaning or if you have already started and have this down pack. Do you have any tips and tricks for me? I would appreciate that too. Thanks so much for watching.